Hello guys, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will be focusing on implicit weight. Now, what is implicit weight? When we ask the web driver to wait for some amount of time and the driver is completely waiting, is performing no other action, that is known as implicit weight. Now, let's see something about implicit weights. Implicit weight is used in cases where the web driver cannot locate an object immediately because of its unavailability. The web driver will wait for a specified implicit wait time and will not try to find an element again during that time. Make sure that we have got this point very clearly because this point will actually be one of the disadvantages of the problem for implicit wait. Once the specified time limit is crossed, the web driver will try to search the element once again for one last time. Upon success, it proceeds with execution. Upon failure, it simply throws an exception. That's all, no big deal. Now, let's see the disadvantage of implicit weight. The disadvantage is not much. The only point that I told you that the weight is not recommended because it is a global weight for the entire driver, which means that longer wait time will cause an impact on your execution time because the web driver is globally weighted. It's not, you know, it's not working anymore. Now let's see how can we add implicit weight into our codes. So what I have taken a new web driver, I have taken an implicit weight and I pass for what amount of time I want to add the weight and the time unit for which the weight should be applied, like it's seconds over here. After that, I get a particular URL in the driver and I call the web element, the name, driver.find element, the entire process remains same. It's a normal find element by function. We are trying to find a element that is having an ID dynamic element in the HTML DOM. Not much thing done, only we are just adding this parameter for the driver to wait, that's all. Now let's quickly go to our Eclipse and see the working of implicit weight onto our system. Now let's have a quick demo to understand the work working of you know uh, implicit weights right so what you will be doing is we, i have already created a project as implicit weight demo and into this src folder the very first thing i would be doing i would be creating a different a separate package so i'm creating a package as com.demo.implicit so here into this one i create a new class and i name this class as uh, implicit weight demo obviously this class would be having the main method so I click on this one and here in the main method I start my work so the very first thing is to set the property so I set the property as web driver dot keyco dot driver and as you are aware that I'm already having this driver place you know right uh, here next to me so I do it like this and I come down. So after this one, now I have to make the object of the web driver. So web driver driver equal to new Marante driver. I import the web driver, you know, the class web driver. So here, now I have to get the particular URL. So which URL I would be getting, I would be using my, you know, my Selenium one that uh, the practice form that we have our on our site. Guys, for any practice that you have, you, that you wish to do or you plan to do, trust me, this would be the best platform, you know, for uh, it, it's having almost all types of elements and everything is present right over there. So let the page load, like see, we are getting this text links over here, right? So let's see, okay, like we're getting this link almost in, in a few milliseconds. Uh, so I'll just inspect the element quickly. And this is my link text. So I think I can click the element on the basis of link text. So first I get the URL, right? After I'm done with the URL, the next is to get the web element, right? So web element, element equal to driver dot find element by dot link text 
Now which element I have to find is the element which is having the text as 5. Now I have run the test case to see how it works and you know it has opened up my particular you know Firefox uh, okay I think it is already it would be able to find the element okay wait let me search for dynamic text 15 actually what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to you know go to a case where this element won't be present and I would need to you know have some small wait you know in some few seconds just to you know uh, give room for this particular element to be visible or even to appear on this particular screen now here what would happen is see it has given me an error saying that you know no such element is found so what if you know I add a small you know uh, implicit weight to it now let me show how I add it I go to driver driver dot manage dot timeouts here I have mentioned implicitly weight first is the duration like I'll say okay wait for 15 seconds and the 15 is what I pass and then is the next thing is the time unit so I pass it as time unit dot seconds I come out and I close this one I close the existing instances of the what the Firefox and I save this once and I quickly run my project now what will happen it will now wait for some time before it gives me the exception so the benefit of you know this would be I would be able to you know wait for elements which are not present it's you know, it's on the element number six it's still waiting otherwise still now it would have given us an error but now it's still waiting okay oh sorry it again gave me an error okay 15 seconds were already over right and is the 15th already there okay so what I'll do is I'll pass this unit as two seconds and will search for element number six now let me run and see so now if we see you know it is able to find the element right see the element is found and in this particular simulated time period right so it works now what I'll do is I'll quickly print the text of this element and I'll run it once again to see you know like if it is working properly so what I'm doing is I'm trying to get the zeros element and uh, I'm waiting for 400 milliseconds and if the element is found and I move ahead to continue further so it has print the text that is dynamic zero and it's waiting for the element that you're supposed to find right so this is how we you know we work with implicit weights so this was all for implicit weights as of now you know stay tuned as we will be having other weights the explicit and the fluent weights in the upcoming videos right thank you